I'm Jim from AbleNet. Today, I'm going to share a quick tip on setting up switch control for your iPad. First, go to the Bluetooth menu and ensure that your Bluetooth is turned on and connected. Next, go to Accessibility, Switch Control, Switches, Add New Switch, External, now activate your external switch. We're going to press S1, which is the blue switch top. You now have the option to name your switch. Type in your desired name, or leave it as Switch 1, then tap Save. On this screen, we are deciding what action we want this switch to perform. If you only want one switch set up, you would want to set the action for the blue switch top to Select Item. But in this instance, we're going to use two switches, so I'm going to set the blue switch top to Move to Next Item. To add the second switch, repeat that same process. Add new switch, external, now activate your external switch, but this time, we're going to press S2, which is the yellow switch top. Type in your desired name, or leave it as switch 2, then tap Save. On this screen, we are deciding what action we want the yellow switch top to perform. Since the blue switch is set to Move to Next Item, I'm going to set the yellow switch top to Select Item. We now have both switches set up. Switch 1 is set to Move to Next Item, and switch 2 is set to select item. Now that the switch tops are set up, you can go back to the switch control menu. Go down to tap behavior. Change it from default to auto tap. Go back one menu to switch control. At the very top, turn switch control on. Your Bluetooth switch is now ready to use. For more great resources and ideas on how to use your AbleNet technology, go to www.ablenetinc.com and click on the help link at the top of the page to access our knowledge base.